more troops and more support. The pledge of the Prime Minister today on a visit to Afghanistan, paying tribute to soldiers after months of bloody conflict. This has been the most um, difficult summer in Afghanistan because the Taliban have tried to prevent elections taking place. And I think our forces whom I've been meeting today who've showed extraordinary uh, courage during this uh, period uh, know that the reason why we're here and the reason we are continuing to be here is that our security at home depends on a stable Afghanistan and no return of the Taliban uh, and no role for al-Qaeda in the running of Afghanistan. Gordon Brown spoke with senior commanders and frontline personnel touring Camp Bastion and a military base in Lashkargar. His visit, his fourth in a year, to inspect vehicles, deployed early to help defend soldiers from the threat of improvised exploding devices, and to discuss the country's future security, a future based upon self-governance for Afghanistan's people. I think we could get another 50,000 um, Afghan uh, army personnel trained over the next year. Uh, stepping that up means that the Afghans take more responsibility for their own affairs. They're backed up by partnering and mentoring done by the British uh, forces. And you can see behind you the new equipment that we're bringing into the field to back this up. Uh, new ridgebacks, uh, new mastiffs, new equipment simply to give better protection to our forces and at the same time to make them more manoeuvrable. Now that, working with a big lift in the Afghan forces, is going to be the next stage of the post-election effort in Afghanistan. More than 200 British troops have died in Afghanistan since operations began there in 2001. Support for those on tour is much needed. In addition to boosting Afghanistan's own troop levels, 200 more specialists will join 200 already deployed to root out IEDs, and from the air, manned and unmanned flights will be increased to step up surveillance. The number of British troops could be increased to speed up training for soldiers in Afghanistan, a force of 135,000 expected to be in service by the end of next year.